Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Canadian Greek coming at you with another simple explanation. Okay, um, I have a lot to get through today, so I'm just going to get right to it. Um, let's start with uh, Bruce Gary's website. Okay, he's posted a couple of more updates. Um, and it says here, December 6, Universal Time, added image showing uh, my attempt to recover the comet after bearing on passage. It shows that any nucleus or coma must be fainter than VMAG-16, provided it was within my field of view. Okay, Whitmer obtained a 3x3 mosaic and found no evidence of a comet. Field of view, probably 36 by 31 seconds of arc, limiting magnitude limiting magnitude to about 16 okay and those images are here okay this is basically what he found he couldn't find anything don't this is not uh common ice on by the way it's not one piece he found nothing okay and that's just about it okay uh, if it is there it is fainter than magnitude 16 which means it cannot be it, cannot, it is not viewable right now um, this is uh, of course stellarium okay this is uh, at six o'clock if we take it back to uh, today on the 12th obviously and let's go back a little bit here five o'clock that's where ISON should be at uh, 5 p.m. today. This is, by the way, set for Greece. Okay, this is my point of view um, from where I am located. Um, obviously, if ISON is at magnitude 16 or fainter, um, you will not be able to see it because of the glare from the sun. Uh, in order to progress, if you progress that further, to the 17th, 18th, or 21st, and then you go to, let's say this is five o'clock, if you go to six o'clock, you might be able to see something, but not until later, okay? Uh, ISON won't be visible to amateur astronomers for at least another week, all right? Uh, that's if there's anything left. Uh, but right now, Bruce Gary and uh, Whitmer uh, tried to recover and found nothing, okay? Uh, for the time being and these are these are the two astronomers that I'm going to go by because uh, they're the only ones that I trust everything else that I tried to find on the internet uh, has been enraging okay uh, I'll just read this article even though I shouldn't it's just absolute crap but anyways let's have, let's have some fun Comet Ison finally met the sun. The encounter ended with a spectacular sight in the skies, uh, but did the comet survive the encounter? Astronomers believe that the comet probably did not survive the encounter, and if it did, it is just mostly chunks of ice. Ice, yeah, okay, I just want to, ah. Uh, anyways, Carl Battams, uh, an astrophysicist with the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory, told CNN that information from the Hubble Space Telescope or other telescopes will tell astronomers what really happened. It seems unlikely at this stage that anything of significant size remains, but Hubble observations would help clear that up, he said. Uh, NASA elaborated in a post, uh, most agree that ISON was destroyed with greater than 90% probability of this having occurred, uh, leaving behind small 10 meter radius or 20 meter diameter pieces. Uh, of rubble that perhaps with maybe 10% probability of occurring also leaving behind some important fragments uh, 100 meter radius or 200 meter in diameter or larger big enough to study now if previous sun raising comments are, are, are any guides uh, there may be a sizable piece of comet nucleus left at this point uh, those scientists are waiting to are waiting for a variety of telescopes to make observations before the status of comet ISON can be confirmed, as are we and as am I. Okay, right now there has been no confirmations. I've been looking on Gary's site, and up until now, uh, the last dated image was December 10th, and they were not able to view anything. Okay. What remains of comet ISON appears to brighten well, it appears to brighten and spread out uh, and then fade. Uh, this was back in uh, up until December the 3rd. The disappearance of a strong central brightness con condensation after perihelion is telling. 
Uh, the comet is clearly fainter and more diffuse going out and going out than going in. Uh, but it continues to shine. Uh, the spread out the spread out light is likely due to dust emitted in the few hours before perihelion going around the sun. Uh, NASA will be monitoring the, com monitoring the comet for the next several weeks to see if anything uh, if there is anything sizable left. Uh, it also said accom uh, accompanying the video it released that the question remains as to whether the bright spot seen moving away from the sun was simply debris or whether a small nucleus of the original ball of ice uh, was still there regardless. Uh, it is likely that it is now only dust. <clears throat> well, uh, when I read things like ball of ice, I just wish I could just grab Carl Battams and just punch him in the face repeatedly until my arm gets tired. I would gladly do the time for assault in jail just to, just for a chance of grabbing one of these cheese sticks and giving him a piece of my mind. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, the Cosmic Corner, and by the way, I search the internet every day for articles and new information and they all basically say the same thing, that it's broken up. Um, the fact that um, Bruce Gary and Whitmer have tried to find it and found nothing is pretty telling in itself, okay, either that, either, either the car, either the uh, ISON has faded to a magnitude below 16, which will make it, you know, damn near impossible to see until I showed you. Um, until later this month, until at least the 21st, when it is dark enough outside, okay, and the comet should have been high enough in the sky where we can actually view it. Um, and that's it, okay. For the time being, I'm still waiting for information, and I cannot find any. Um, I will analyze something else, though, and I want you guys to see this. This picture... Uh, is from Sechi H1A. Uh, this was taken on the 3rd of December, 9:01 Universal Time. And we all know this image. This is Comet Ison just before it faded out, and you couldn't see it anymore. Okay, but I want what I wanted to analyze from this picture is the spread of the debris. Okay, um, if this is what would have been the nucleus. Okay, or the or or what's left of the nucleus now? Uh, because I believe Ison was, you know, uh, well, you know what I believe. I believe it was it was absolutely huge. Um, some of this debris is going to be very large indeed. Okay, but from what I can see of the spread here, and we're not going to include this because that could just be a background star. It could be anything. Okay. But from what I see for here, from the spread of the debris, most of the debris, because of the centrifugal force coming around the sun, most of the debris is splashing outwards and out, which means it's splashing above the ecliptic. Here's Mercury and Earth. Most of it is going up. However, there is a small amount of debris. If you look at it here, even if you include this point here and not that, okay, um, most of the debris is spreading up, I would have to say. At least two thirds is going up. Some of it is coming down, <clears throat> which is kind of natural. Um, and what I would have, what I would have expected, even if you include this point, okay, and that would include all these points up here, okay. Most of the degree is still pointing up, okay. It's pointing up and away from Earth. Um, now, if it's going to be 30 million kilometers away from Earth, I do not foresee any danger for us from it from its outgoing path. So if, there, if any outgoing debris is likely to miss Earth entirely, okay, which is a good thing. This is good news, guys. This is not bad news. This is great news, okay. We, we dodged this bullet. However, when Ison was on its inbound trail on its way into the sun, and it was in one piece, and because I believe that it was very large, okay, it did come through... Uh, the asteroid belt, and if it was planet-sized, as I believe it was, at least the size of our moon, maybe the size of Mercury, um, that means it kicked a lot of debris, um, a lot of asteroids coming through the asteroid belt, sent them flying in all sense, in all directions, and because I believe it was spherical, um, literally it sent them flying in all directions, okay? 
Um, so uh, we could start encountering any kind of debris from its inbound trail, anything from uh, December the 25th all the way to possibly the end of January. Okay, so that is the time window, or at least January the 25th, I'll say. Um, that is the time window that we have to encounter any debris from its inbound path. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to say on that matter. Okay, now some people have accused me of doing a 180 because I'm not, you know, predicting doom and gloom. I never have, I've always given you guys a balanced outlook and what I believe is happening. Um, and that's it. Okay, let's continue. There is something that I want to, there's something else that I want you to show you. Um, I came across this article, okay, from before its news, Comet Ice on Update, now visible and as large as Earth on its way, video BP Earth Watch, okay, and this is BP Earth Watch's video with what he claims to be her, her, her colobus, okay, um, guys, let's be realistic about one thing, okay, that is not uh, that is not a planet. Well, actually, it is a planet, but it's one that's very near to us, and it's called the moon. Okay? These images were taken from the SDO satellite, and the SDO satellite people... This is the SDO satellite. This is Earth. Okay? This thing, go this thing goes around the Earth. Okay? This is the SDO satellite. If anything this large was anywhere in the vicinity of Earth, we damn well would see it, and actually we do, every night. It's called the moon, okay? Um, I don't like it when people that are supposed to be credible on YouTube pull shit like this without doing any research. I mean, I don't know what BP Earthwatch's educational level is at. Um, I think he was an electrical engineer which means he should be re relatively educated and educated enough to be able to distinguish from certain well to anyways to not be able to bring you this kind of garbage okay this is not her this is not her colobus this is not uh, planet x this is not uh, anything okay this is the moon all right let's just be real about that let's keep it real people um, my site is based on fact and what i can prove and I try and give you a balanced view of what's going on, alright? When I see stuff like this, it just makes me laugh, but the fact that he's, you know, misleading so many people and leading so many people astray is just, it's laughable. Um, anyways, if maybe if I, maybe if I follow the same practices, I would have 50,000 subscribers and views per video too. Who knows? Anyways, uh, I just don't, I really don't agree with that at once, 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 you know, anyways, whatsoever, um, that's it, this is going to be the end of this update, this is going to be another simple explanation, I'm sorry if I'm, you know, some people think I'm doing a 180, I read, according to some of the comments from my last video, um, I guess people want their doom porn or whatever, I don't know, man, but that's not me, I just, I'm just here to bring you the balanced views and to bring you the facts, Okay, that's all. Uh, this is the Canadian Greek. I'm out.